LOM community. What's going on? What's going on? Lockout men in the building. Yo, you guys ready for some uh, truck talk and chill today? Let's get ready. Let's get into this video right quick. It's about a good 50 degrees out here in uh, Ohio, man. I, I got my load this morning, packed up, ready to roll. Man, it is ooh, not like it was last week. I'm talking, it was face cold last week. But I am here at Campbell's up in Finland. And of course, waiting on that trailer right there, right there. Still got the red light on it. I'm assuming that they are loading me, but I've been here for quite a while. It was supposed to, it was supposed to been loaded already. You guys know how this trucking game is. It's all about waiting and yeah, waiting. So let's get into some uh, truck talking chill, shall we? So today's topic, uh, I found on a I found on a website called Fleet Owners, and uh, today's topic and the title of this video. Oh, but before we get into it, before we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell on the way out the door. Yes, sir. So you can get good, fresh content all the time. On my way to four thousand. Truck driver satisfaction isn't about the pay is it though is your satisfaction about the pay i mean isn't that's the reason why you guys come out here and sacrifice your life to get into this industry it's because of the pay you know what i'm saying this is this is the only industry where we can make this type of money isn't this the industry that everybody want to jump into. Isn't this the industry that everybody said that saved their lives? It's not about the money though, right? It's not about the pay. That's what it said. What, what would be the other, any other reason that you would get into this type of industry? I mean, let's, let's think about it. You're away from your family. You're on the road, you work 70 hours a day, you drive 11 hours a day, you on the clock for 14 hours a day. Once you get finished driving, you're too tired to do anything else. But it's not about the pay though. I mean, you guys get into this industry for what reason? What? other reason you guys get into this industry for what is the other reason that you guys get into this reason get into this industry this industry is a needed industry everybody needs something from trucks i mean from truckers we bring just about any and everything to you guys but we're also the most hated industry you're on the road trying to get to where you're going, but you cut us off because you're getting there. So you're making our job 
harder than what it is. So you can get to your job. So you can make your money to buy the stuff that we're bringing. How ironic is that? We're not in this for the pay though. Blackout men, what, what are we in this for though? I, I don't know. Is good pay, home time enough for a fleet to satisfy both season and rookie drivers and thus keep them long term? Or is something else needed? While veteran drivers defined in this report as holding a commercial vehicle license for more than five years and earning wages higher than 50,000 were generally more satisfied with their jobs. Now we're talking veterans here. We're not talking about the new drivers. We're talking about, we're talking about veterans here. You know, guys that have been in the game for more than 10 years, 15 years, some as, some as long as 30 years. Now maybe, you know, now driving now is not as much of a big deal to them than for the rookies that's coming into this game. A lot of the guys I talked to or have came across and asked them like, yo, what, what you get into this game for? It was for the money. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. It's for the money. Why else would we get into this game? But veterans on the other hand says, it wasn't because of the money they got into it. They said it's because of the freedom. They say across both new and veteran drivers alike, the leading factor behind job satisfaction was the extent to which their employer's company's cultures was family oriented, oriented followed by being allotted a significant amount of home time. Let's talk about that for a minute. Family oriented companies. You know what I'm saying? Companies that treat you like family. That's what you, that's the ultimate goal, I guess. Well, who am I to talk about, talk about shit that I don't know? I mean, that's what this YouTube space is all about, right? A lot of, a lot of YouTube truckers over here talking a lot of shit. Maybe some of them know, maybe some of them don't. What is the reason? If, if pay's not the reason that you got into this trucking game, leave it in the comments below and tell me what is the reason why you got into this trucking game. If pay is not the reason, that, that wasn't the money characterized by low pay in this study that they're doing. But carelessness closely followed by untrustworthiness. Now you get into this trucking game, you find that company, you get with that company, and all of a sudden, everything that was told to you about that company that was supposed to be so great, turns around to be so shitty. Now you're stuck. Two topics were related and dealt with issues of force, that dealt with issues of forced illegal activity, such as driving more than an allotted, allowed number of hours, a lack of respect, lack of care for the drivers, drivers work condition and or personal lives, and instance of breach of contract and lie. It's just like every other job. You gotta find the company where you're comfortable with. Obviously, good pay, good home time, good and I mean good equipment are important. All right, you gotta have good pay. That's that's the reason why you coming out here. You gotta you gotta find a company that'll give you good pay. Whether you're a company driver or owner op, it's all about the pay. You know, it really is. They say that it's not about the pay, but it it really is. It's all about the pay. Why wouldn't pay be the motivating factor of you coming out here to get into this trucking game? <laughs> It's just about finding a company with good pay. Good equipment. You know, you don't want to get an equipment that's broke down all the time. You know, you you want to get an equipment that's going to get you from point A to point B with no, with no problems. Because if you get into an equipment that breaks down, you ain't making no money. Right now. Hello. 
Yes, sir. Will do, thank you. All right now, and just like that, I'm done. <laughs> Basically, with some of these drivers out here that really wants other than the pay, in my an emotional connection to the company that they're working for. They gotta like the company. They gotta feel the company. They gotta, they gotta have a thing for the company. It's like a marriage, you know. You gotta like. You, you, you got y'all two got to like each other in order to vibe with each other if you guys can find that with a company that you can vibe with then I think the success of that company between between the company and the driver will go on for a long time I think for any company that you get with you want to feel like you belong to that company that's it. That's all that's on my mind. My truck is ready. Or, I'm sorry, my trailer is ready. It's time to go. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell on the way out the door. And listen, listen. You guys want to talk about something? Y'all want to holler at me? Leave it in the comments below. Guys, want you guys got anything on your mind? Hit me up in the email, lockoutman at gmail.com. Until next time, I'm gone. Y'all take it easy. Peace. I'm gone, I ain't coming back nah, nah, nah. You gon' have to settle with another man yeah, yeah. But when you realize, don't be running back oh, Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone